Hey, thanks for joining us. We're here with Jesse Buckley to talk about Supermassive's brand new game in the Dark Pictures anthology, The Devil in Me. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. Tell us a bit about the character that you play. I play a character called Kate Wilder, who is a presenter who's part of this documentary team who are doing a show about the serial killer H.H. H. Holmes. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. So what interested you in the, in the role of Kate? Well, to be honest, I've never played a video game in my life and I had no idea what the hell the world was. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so that was firstly why I kind of was like, oh, yeah, that sounds new <laughs> and fun. And yeah, and then I read the script and talked to Alita, who's our director, and it seemed like a really lovely thing to be part of and something new and fun. I love that, that you're stepping into something brand new for you and, and having to learn about all of it, not just, oh, hey, you know, mocap and, and all of that side of things, but let's just jump into yeah. video games and learn the whole thing. And I can't believe it. I can't believe how they create this world. Uh, actually. <laughs> you know, usually I just get a script and it's like 70 to 100 pages long, but there's like 300 pages in one script. Yeah, it's unbelievable. This is, this is... Hear that? The walls are moving again. So what kind of a character is Kate? What's her personality like? She's front and centre. <laughs> Good place to but be. But she's a fighter as well. And she's got in the middle of this journey to find out who H.H. H. Holmes is. There's also quite a human side to her. And there's a relationship that's present with one of the other characters that they're kind of figuring out. And she's got ambition and bite. But also she's got a kind of fight and vulnerability to her as well. I like the sound of her. She sounds really cool. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. What was the toughest part of, of playing Kate? What else was quite challenging? We move really fast when we were filming it. And you've got this kind of heavy cycling helmet with a camera on you <laughs> on all day. Let's not think about the exact situations that Kate might find herself in. But eh, generally, how would you react if you were to find yourself in Kate's situation? If I was stuck in a murder castle and um, being chased by some deranged serial killer, I'd be absolutely terrified. <laughs> She's much tougher than I am and more kind of goading of the situation than I am. Because I guess that's part of it as well, is they half want to document it and they're half like living the thing that they're trying to document and they're afraid of. But, you know, I'd be off that. I I'd probably jump into the water and swim back to shore or something and... Or, I don't know, find a corner and cry. I'd be right behind you. <laughs> or, you know, in, unless Kate was there to protect both of us, frankly. But yeah, just yeah. emotionally eat all the snacks I have in my bag. Is we have some what too. Yeah, we can, we can double up on those for the, uh, for the emergencies. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I think I'd do the very same. But then I guess you don't know, like that fight flight thing, you know, maybe if in that situation you may find some... I don't even want to think I about probably it. It's terrifying. Would. I also probably <laughs> would have stolen Charlie's cigarettes and smoked all of them. <laughs> Try not to cough up a diseased lung. You've mentioned Charlie a couple of times. I'm just going to go with it. Is he your fave character or is there another? Oh, no, no. Charlie and Kate have, they've got some kind some of stuff. stuff. Mm. <laughs> the problem is, though, I actually really love everybody's character. Like, I love Erin. Erin is such a sweetheart. She's so sweet. And Jamie. Jamie's, I mean, if I could be half as cool as Jamie is, I would be very happy. She's the coolest cucumber in the whole of the series. And then Mark is the ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Let's not say any more about that. He gets stuck on an island in a murder castle with an no, ex-boyfriend. I mean, if you're going to have the chat, you're going to have it there. <laughs> it's perfect. Is there an option to be a little bit crueler to people if you want to or, or you know, kind of choose to bring them into your fold and keep them safe? Are you? Yeah, yeah. I think as a player, you can choose basically which relationships you enable and move forward or you which you run screaming off, from basically yeah. yeah the ex out <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they live happily ever after I like that <laughs> so give us an idea of your favourite scene so far which have you really enjoyed being involved in well they're all quite sparky because <laughs> they're all quite sparky characters run we were doing stuff with Erin and Jamie where they're being chased by Demet who's the owner of this mad murder castle that nice guy that lovely man 
And it was quite fun to be part of that group of women. In one way, it was a game of cat and mouse, and they were trying to outwit him, basically, by goading him to come closer. Mm -hmm. So there was jeopardy throughout, and then I got to die fabulously a few times. Amazing. <laughs> we love beautiful rooms, we love relationships, we love lovely environments, but we're here for the scares. Give me an idea of how scary this is going to get. I've been screaming a lot the last <laughs> few days and I think it's definitely scary <laughs> and gruesome and I wouldn't do it while having your back door open. That's all I would say. <laughs> that makes sense. And ever so quickly, I do want to ask you about the screams because I've found, not that I've tried to do pretend screams all that often, but you really need to be scared to get that proper scary high-pitched noise out, right? The actual scream sound. How? How? How, how do you do how that do on demand? Scared. Yeah. I don't know, I just do it. I just finished a, a horror film and I was so scared all the time that any time my fella came into a room in our house, I was just screaming. <laughs> so I think I have a kind of accessibility to, to fear. You do. <laughs> just off the back of one. <laughs> it's me, get in here. Talking about Kate a bit more, She's a presenter. She's kind of plucky, I hear. Have you ever done any presenting work yourself? God, no. Why not? <laughs> what if it's a hidden talent? Oh, I really think it's not. No, I, I know it's not. I think I'd be probably asked to present a kind of local horticultural kind of leeks festival or something. Anything beyond that <laughs> is not possible. <laughs> but it's so wholesome, which is good. You know, you do it in your own I'm in your own realms. I'm happy to present a leek festival, to be honest. Although, do I like leeks? I'll be there. Yeah. Just let me know about the leek festival. I'm all over it. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Oh, stop trying to make me like you. What would you say you're most excited about when it comes to players actually getting the game in their hands and sitting down with it and playing themselves? I guess what's been so fun for me is that having these genuine relationships which are complex and move up and down and I guess for the player, they get to choose which way they want these relationships to mm -hmm. go in some way. So that is fun. And also the detail and work and the scope of the world that the Supermassive game crew have created is so astonishing. It is genuinely blown my mind. Like the detail, what they put in to making just one room look a certain mm. way. And there's loads of surprises as well. Like you think the house is one thing and then you open another door and it's a completely different thing. So it's really exciting. Yeah, they're incredibly good at that. You know, really feeling like you're in that atmosphere that yeah. it's, you know, every particle is real and touchable and, and totally. right there. Yeah. Very cool. You guys, look at this. So as the owner of the best scream, that's what I've heard, um, <laughs> how easily scared are you? And when it comes to horror games, horror characters, horror films, what's your favorite of the bunch? I am terrified of horror films. The last one I watched, I think, was when I was probably about nine. Halloween, my dad put on The Mothman Prophecy. Oh my gosh, And yeah. it was a Halloween party and we lived at the end of a wood in Ireland and I was with all my mates and he'd stopped the film halfway through, bundled us all into a car, drove us up to the wood and left us there and then went back down and then ran off through the woods and scared the life out of us. That's the last time I watched a horror film. I like your dad. He was preparing <laughs> you for life with that. He was getting you ready for the roller coaster. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Quit fucking around. What are you trying to do? Not die. Okay, we're going to head into quick fire. Go so on. run away, stand and fight. Stand and fight for five minutes and then run away. <laughs> Good choice. Hide or run? Yeah. Uh, run, run, mm -hmm. run. Keep going. Run. Good chat. Uh, would you explore on your own or in a group? On my own. Yeah, I think in a group makes it worse sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Ghost ship, haunted village, buried underground, trapped in a murder house. Oh my God. A ghost ship. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And then would you save yourself or save the others? This is for force majeure, isn't it? This is <laughs> um, I would... I don't know, man. Like, we all want to say <laughs> I'd save the others, but probably when you get to it, you'd want to save yourself as well. Of course. Self-preservation has Let's to just kick be in. Honest, dear. And if anything horrible happens to them, then it's a situation of I had to make sure I was safe before yeah. I could get to them and it was too late. It was a horrible, horrible situation. I can't answer that. Okay, finally, playing the hero, playing the villain. Villain. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. I was hoping you'd end it there. <laughs> Rot in hell. Asshole. Jesse, thank you so much for taking the time to sit and talk with us and, and going through COVID tests and, and, and makeup and, and mocap <laughs> and everything else that's to come. So thank you. Um, and thank you for joining us. And make sure you're keeping an eye on all things Supermassive for more information on the upcoming next installment of the Dark Pictures anthology. I take back all the times I called you bitch face. You're my fucking hero, okay? I figured if I let you die, you, you'd haunt me. You're not wrong.